Hey everyone, moving on to the sixth technique in our McLaurin series, we're going to talk about this small angle approximation. So we'll be recalling some stuff from our trigonometry, right? Because there is some uh, correlation here. So as you can see, right, we have sine fx equals to fx minus fx cubed over 3 factorial plus fx power 5 over 5 factorial and cosine fx being 1 minus fx squared over 2 plus fx power 4 over 4 factorial. So let's just say that because we're talking about small angle approximation, so let's say if x is small, such that x cubed and higher powers can be ignored, right? So basically, we can x cubed and higher powers, because the angle is so small, x is super small, x cubed and higher powers are simply too insignificant, right? Because of that, we are, we are able to cancel out all the x terms with degree 3 or higher, right? So we then have sine x, approximated to simply x, right? Because if you look at the formula, we just cancel any x term that have a higher degree than 2, so 3 or above. For cosine x, we do the same thing. We will get 1 minus x squared over 2. For tangent x, is simply x as well. You can actually use, prove it, right? Sine x over cosine x. Then you perform your normal uh, Maclaurin series, right? So let's see how we can <clears throat> apply this in our examples, right? So First of all, we must know that this only works for sine kx would then equals to kx, right? Any function, basically, that does not involve a constant. So for example, we have sine 2x would then be equals to 2x. Sine 2x plus 1, though, is not approximated to 2x plus 1 because there's a constant 1 when you substitute x equals to 0 if you have to use the derivative. So only works when fx is purely algebraic without a constant inside, right? Same thing for your trigonometry, same thing for cosine, same thing for tangent. Cosine 3x would then be approximated to 1 minus 9x squared over 2. But if you're looking at cosine 3x plus 1, then it's not equals to 1 minus 3x plus 1 whole thing square over 2. All right, so know the distinction. So let's look at some possible answers, uh, some possible questions, right? So let's say you assign half x times secant x. So first thing first, very simple. We just have sine half x, so it becomes half x, right? And that's how you do approximation, times cosine x power minus 1 plus dot dot dot. Now we expand cosine x because x is very small. We have half x, 1 minus x squared over 2 plus dot 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 obviously keeping the minus 1 inside. Then now we perform our basic binomial expansion. So we get back half x bracket 1 plus x squared over 2. Because we're only interested in 1x or x squared, where x cubed higher ignored, we don't need to consider x squared over 2 whole thing squared because it will get us x power 4. So at the end, this will equal us to half x plus x cubed over 4 plus dot dot dot. And because we are also not interested in x cubed and above, this is simply half x plus dot dot dot. All right. Next example, let's say we have tangent x plus, let's say, pi over 4, right? So because we add a constant, what must we do? We simply expand this, right, using the MF26 of tangent a plus b equals to tangent a plus tangent b over 1 minus tangent a tangent b. In this case, tangent x plus tangent pi over 4 over 1 minus tangent x tangent pi over 4. We know that tangent pi over 4 equals to 1, so we get tangent x plus 1 over 1 minus tangent x. Now we perform the binomial expansion again, but before that we'll expand tangent x to be x plus 1 over 1 minus x. So therefore we get 1 plus x times 1 minus x power minus 1. Then we perform the binomial expansion to get 1 Minus 1 times minus x would be plus x. Minus 1 times minus 2 over 2, again, is plus, so class x square. Then, because we are not interested in x cubed or higher, we can simply ignore x cubed. All right, so we then have a plus dot dot dot. But because I use an approximate sign, who cares about plus dot dot dot? Now we just perform the basic expansion. So we have 1 plus x times 1 plus x plus x square. So we do it term by term, right? 1 plus x times 1 gives me back 1 plus x. 1 plus x times x will give me x plus x squared. 
1 plus x times x squared will give me x squared plus x cubed, but because I don't need x cubed or above, I can ignore that, leaving me with 1 plus 2x plus 2x squared. So there we have it, the small angle approximation where x cubed and higher powers are neglected.